At this lesson, we will assemble the new platform from pre-developed models using Heather Compiler. As I said before, Heather Compiler allows combining modules written in different formats. At default, compilers use index header file. The file is an entry point for compilation and storing modules as a link to another file, output formats, and additional options at add-ons. Index files use header language. This code consists of a sequence of statements. Spaces and new lines between statements do not matter. To make a comment on this file, we will use double slash, and to make multi rows comment, these symbols. The action statement is a comment to create or change something on a modeling platform that is followed by semicolons. There are three basic actions for modification of model components. Insert, update, and delete. They used to include, replace, update, and delete components via their IDs without changing the source code. We can write a simple header language model right in this file. This is a one component process. And the code will look like this. You can study this and other models in more detail in the header tutorials. For other formats, we will make a link in the header file. Include command acts like we put the code from the model into this file. Also, models can insert other submodels and make hierarchical structures. Include action can be replaced by including a statement with an equivalent meaning. So, the general formula for adding a file to a model looks like this. Where file path is a file location and model type supposed model types. And there is a dictionary where you can set additional options. Now, let's try adding modules in different formats one by one. For the purity of the experiment, I make modules in different formats and add them into one direction. Heta compiler can combine different modules' formats at the same time. Heta module, file with Heta syntax. It could be a separate module, uh, additional actions, or just QSP units file that should be added with this statement. Other formats like Symbiology and SBML we will include with these statements. For table modules, we should insert information from necessary sheets. Omit rows option shows that we are skipping one row between header and content. If we create the index header file via the header init, it will contain the template of the exports command but we will print them from scratch. This is a general expression for exporting files, and we will make export to these formats. The export expression will look like this. We should type head build in the main folder. This directory should appear, and here we could find folders and files with the same model in different formats. As always, at this lesson we have practical tasks. Move Nutrifull model to the source folder. It's convenient when all models store in one place. Open index header file. We change its content. Add link to Nutrifills and SurveyMap models. In case them are table format, we prescribe only necessary sheets. Also, we add link to QSP units header file. And we will export model in SLV file format. So, comment the template option and delete these symbols. Save it. Exit the folder and in project folder make header build. After that, we can see build log file with logs and this folder with 
output model in SLV format. Now we can open this model in other modeling program. But at the beginning, we should calibrate it against available experimental data. And we will do it in the next lesson.